Bonjour everyone, today we are back in the province of Quebec to show you another luxury Airbnb. I actually can't pronounce the name of this cabin, so I'll let Google do it for me. You hear that? And this word means taking time out of your busy life to go spend time with your family and friends. How nice. It's still a tiny home, but somehow they found a way to include a hot tub, two fire pits, a hammock, and so much more. So let's check it out. So to get to this location, you'll need to drive up a private mountain on a dirt path that will lead you right to your stay. They do strongly advise you arrive before sunset, but if you can't make it for any reason, a row of string lights will lead you right up to the property. And at the end of the path, you'll see the insane architectural marvel where you'll be staying. Let's go inside, or I'm already inside, so you, you come inside. To get into the property, you'll need to walk on concrete pavers that lead you directly into the first floor of the house. Inside the bedroom, or is it a bathroom? I can't fully tell because your shower and bath are directly to your left with no separation to the actual bed. Yo, Monty, I'm a little bit tired. I'm just gonna take a shower. All right, sounds good, man. <laughs> but regardless of what you want to call it, you'll be sleeping on a king-sized bed with a complete 360 view of the forest around you. And the bed has curtains if you don't trust the one-way mirrors that surround the room. This is the first Airbnb that I've seen that not only includes robes, but a sleeping mask and slippers. And it doesn't even matter if you don't want to use their slippers because the floor is heated upstairs and downstairs. When you do need to freshen up, you have a few options. A bathtub with a scenic view or a shower with a scenic view. You pick. And this is really where you need to put your trust in the glass surrounding the entire cabin because there is no curtain. But if you want to use the bathroom, you do have them, as well as a stone sink, a giant mirror, and of course, more scenic views. The bathroom is definitely smaller, but since you're not showering, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. When you are done freshening up, you can head up the ladder to the second floor, where you can see the absolutely massive windows all around you. Again, the architecture is amazing. The lights almost never need to be on because sunlight will always enter the property at any time of the day. And because of the exposed wood beam construction, the ceilings are pretty high, which makes this property feel so much more spacious. There's a fireplace right in front of the main living room window. And if you're like me and you've never used it, you can watch a video to see how it's set up correctly. They leave a pocket of wood you can buy for $10, or you can use it for the price of a subscription to a particularly cool YouTube account. <clears throat> A couch folds out to become a queen size bed if you need space for two more people. And to the right, you'll see the entire kitchen with another massive window in front of you. The kitchen itself has a black marble countertop with your knives, sink, and anything you need to cook on top. Green cabinets underneath let you store pots and pans, and a mini fridge will keep a few things cold for you. Plates and cups are stored on a wooden shelf next to you, and when you wanna cook, you can use an actual stove. This is very nice. When it's time to eat the five-star dinner you created, you can either use a table inside or outside. But the interior one has a really unique design that you actually see all around the property. And at the end of the table is a Bodum coffee maker that I probably won't use, but it's there. When you step outside of this property through the sliding glass door on the second floor, you'll be on a patio and you'll be able to see the home's architecture from the outside. Immediately, you'll see a wooden hot tub that I was very excited to try out and with great scenic views. For the summer month, you have a grill and a wooden outdoor table with six chairs for a group of friends. And do not worry if the fun goes on all night because the patio is lit with lights from the house and these string lights all around, which actually wrap around a spiral staircase that lead you downstairs. Okay, pop quiz. When trying to find a place to relax, do you choose A, the ergonomic chairs in the front of the cabin, B, the gas fireplace, C, the hammock and outdoor couch, or D, the wooden fire pit? And that's a trick question. It's actually E, everything above. I genuinely cannot believe there are so many places for you to sit down while you're here. But my favorite definitely was the gas fireplace that not only looks cool, but kept me nice and warm. But now that you're here, what is there to do? On the table is a guide of so, so many restaurants, trails, and things to do in La Coupeau. You're already on a mountain, so you'll probably be exploring the bike path and walking the trails all over the place. The cabin is just 10 minutes away from town, so even though you're in the forest, you're not too far from civilization. And because of this, we ended up going to an aquarium. 
This is pretty fun. And if you want to stay in, you can just rent some wood and have a great night in either one of the fire pits. If you couldn't already tell from the listing photos, this place is meant for a couple, but it does allow for four people to stay. If you're coming here, you are going to need to be able to climb the ladder or the spiral staircase, but if you can't, there's a whole bunch of other properties that will probably work for you because a vacation at one of these properties is probably going to be very hard to forget. So if you would like to stay at this property, the link will be in the description. And if you like this video and have a cabin that you'd want me to review, make sure you reach out to me. If you want to see another cabin by these same hosts, you can check out last week's video where we reviewed Ica. But regardless of what you do, have fun, travel the world, stay safe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.